Hey everybody, Ken here, CCG Vlog, two events this weekend, Friday and Sunday. We'll get to what happened on Saturday here a little bit later in the vlog, but the featured tournament of the weekend will be Sunday's $180 Mega Stack. Should be a banger. We got plenty of cash games all weekend long. Let's hop right into it. October 25th, Friday, we're going to be at the Viking Lodge in Tinley Park. It's downtown Tinley, right off of Oak Park Avenue and like 178th Street. Saturday, no event. Please use your extra time wisely. I know I certainly am. And then Sunday, the 27th of October, we're going to be at the American Legion in Downers Grove. That's one off of Ogden Avenue and Saratoga, one of our top locations for both tournaments and cash games. Let's get right into it. Friday, we're going to be at the Viking Lodge down in Tinley Park. Fridays are for cash games, which means we're going to get one, two, two, three, and PLO. There is a nice PLO crowd down in Tinley Park, a little bit different crowd. So come and check that out if you're interested in PLO. Uh, if you always think that the game's too crazy or not as much fun as you think it's going to be, P uh, PLO and Tinley Park is a good spot to check out. So come and check that out. Uh, then you got the two featured tournaments on Friday. I'm going to go with the Bird and the Deep Stack. The Bird and Tinley is always a really good turnout, so I'm expecting that to, to hold true still. It's fall weather. The weather's turning a little bit, which means the tournaments get bigger. Uh, and then the Deep Stack, the Friday Night Deep Stack is always the Deep Stack to beat. Um, you know, between 50 and 60 players is a normal realm of tournament players. Um, it's a great structure. $120 buy-in, $10 add-on will get you 30 can chips, 20-minute levels, late registration in that one until 8.30. You cannot beat the Friday Night Deep Stack. So if you're looking for something to do this Friday night, Tinley Park, Viking Lodge, come and see us for the deep stack. Stay for the cash games, should be a blast. Uh, Saturday, sadly, there was no event. October 26th, there was a paperwork, we'll call it a snafu. Um, it just didn't work out. And without the proper licensing, there can be no event. And uh, yeah, there's just no license for Saturday and no ability to kind of find a replacement spot. So, ergo. You all have a free Saturday to do with as you please. I hope you do some yard work, maybe play some golf, hit the basketball court if that's a thing that you do. I don't know, watch a movie with the family. You know, tell the wife or the husband or the girlfriend or the boyfriend or whatever it is that interests you that you can't, you're going to hang out with them on Saturday because Sunday, 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 we're going to be at the American Legion in Downers Grove, October 27th for the Mega Stack. Now, the Mega Stack in Downers Grove would normally be a really good turnout anyways. I'd say probably between 70 and 80 players in the fall. Add to the fact that we're down in Tinley Park on Friday, which I know will deter some of you from going, but you should. It's a great venue. It's a super fun spot to play. They have some of the craziest artwork you will ever see. Ask me about it. I'll be there. Um, Tinley Park on Friday and then Saturday with no event and Sunday being at one of our top locations with nothing on Saturday again should mean that the Sunday event in Downers Grove is going to be an absolute banger. It's going to be a crazy event, tons of people. Tournaments are going to be busto, meaning really big busto, not like you're going to busto, but hopefully you won't. Hopefully everybody in the vlog wins. Um, but Sunday should be a really good turnout, massive tournament turnout. So you could press, you know, 90 plus for the bird. I would guess about the same for the mega stack, which is $180 buy-in. Get you 80 can chips with your $10 add-on and on-time registration at noon. Remember, noon start on Sunday. Uh, $180 buy-in, $10 add-on, plus your on-time bonus, meaning if you register for the tournament in person, you got to register in person before noon, then you get a bonus uh, 10 can chips. If you're late or you have to re-enter, that's normally where I land. I can never be on time for a poker tournament. I don't know what it is about it. But you can 100% buy the add-on or buy the bonus, I should say, for 20 bucks, meaning you pay your $10 original add-on plus the $10 penalty for coming late or having to re-enter, 200 bucks all day. We'll get you 80 can chips, 15 minute levels for the first 10 levels, that includes late registration and through the first 10 levels, which is roughly 3 p.m. And then after the registration closes, blinds go up to 25 minute levels. Super deep structure, tons of chips to start with, we have no excuses in the mega stacks and the stacks and the monster stacks because you get so many starting chips that it's, it's all about the play. Sometimes that's not great. Sometimes I like the early bird because I can blame my bad play on not enough starting chips. But that's a $20 tournament. This is almost a $200 tournament. So you're going to get some different things in those. Uh, Mega Stack is 100% the feature tournament of the weekend. Noon start on Sunday. Mega, mega, mega. Fall colors. We've got the Mixed Game Series on Sunday at 6.30 as well as another featured tournament in the vlog. It's going to be the $60, 6.30 start. 
PLO and PLO8, meaning you're gonna play eight hands of PLO, eight hands of PLO8, and then go back to PLO. The mixed game series has been another wildly successful series. Um, we've gotten great turnouts for these, a ton of feedback from my players, which I always 100% encourage, and we listen to those things. But with that being said, um, the Sunday 6.30 mixed game tournaments have been doing really well. It's a great price point, it's 60 bucks, $5 add-on will get you 20 can chips, starting stack, 15 minute levels, PLO and PLO8. I think this will be probably our most popular tournament. It is tons of fun. It's two super great mixed games that a lot of players play, right? Not a lot of players play triple draw or single draw or Raz or horse or all. Some, I don't even know what some of those are. Somebody asked me the other day what Badesi was and we had to look it up because I wasn't 100% sure what it was. As soon as I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, I knew what that was. But I was guessing. Um, P Pot Limit Omaha is definitely one of the most popular mixed games that are out there. It's the second most popular game after No Limit Hold'em, which means PLO and PLO 8 should be a massive tournament, especially on a massive Sunday in Downers Grove at the American Legion. Come and see us. Cash game players grind those hours. we got 15K giving away soon. Mixed game players, if you haven't even played any of the mixed games events, you can still finish in the top 10 on the points list and get your way into the Poker Players Championship. So you can save that $300 buy-in for the biggest mixed game event of the year here at CCG. That's what I got for you this week, folks. Two events, Friday and Sunday. You got Saturday off. Friday in Tinley Park, Sunday in Downers Grove. It's going to be a wild weekend. It should be tons of fun. We will see you on the tables. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, people have been asking me where they can find the poker podcast that we do, the overlay. It's getting up. Uh, it's loading up now to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, look out for the podcast. You can listen to it on YouTube as well. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer everything, but I will 100% answer all comments. Any comments you make, good or bad, I will go ahead and uh, talk back to you. I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you this weekend. Bye, everybody.